Here's how you beat any local authority department should they wish to come after you. So I've got one property where I beat four different local authority departments. I later found out that they were spending taxpayers' money having a weekly meeting about how they could make my life difficult. This involved the prohibition team at the local housing office, the council tax department, the planners, and the building control department. Now, it was really easy for me to beat them on every single case because they were just simply incompetent. But I also had a really good architect who enabled me to justify every single argument against each department. First of all, the prohibition team. They made some massive errors right at the start. They failed to register the prohibition notice against the land registry documents, which meant I wasn't aware of it until after I'd bought the property and completed the refurb. They then sent an incompetent officer who made so many mistakes and wouldn't allow the prohibition notice to be lifted. Then the manager wouldn't lift the prohibition notice until I adhered to some of his ridiculous requests. And because I put him on notice under a pre-action protocol that if he didn't justify these requests, we would complete them but come for costs. Not only was my uh, complaint upheld, but my costs have been paid. Secondly, planning and building control. They wouldn't allow this flat to be completely separate to the commercial unit. And even though we had an argument, we found a loophole to revert it back to being shared with the commercial unit, which meant that they had no case. And that was simply putting a door in the stairwell between the shop and the flat, which meant that the shop or the flat could access either raw, meaning that they could become one entity. Therefore, not needing planning permission and not needing to complete a load of build and regs work, which was unnecessarily. Obviously, after the prohibition was lifted, we just put a lock on either end. So actually, the tenant of the flat and the tenant of the shop can't access each other's property. And last but not least was the good old council tax department. They would not give me the relief that you can get for an uninhabitable property. However, because a prohibition notice was live and wouldn't be lifted, they couldn't argue it. The day before the court hearing, they decided to withdraw the case because we fought it all the way up to the 11th hour. They were spending thousands of pounds of taxpayers' money instructing lawyers all for it to fall below the waistline right at the very end. So my advice is to never, ever give up. Always push the boundaries because what you are dealing with is people who can't get or secure or maintain or progress jobs in the real world. So they go and work for a local department and they have to justify their salary. And how they justify it is by targeting entrepreneurial property investors trying to simply bring properties back to life.